Yo, it's good as Mastermind MMA. Congratulations to Danielle Cormier. Uh, if you're wondering what changed from my last video, it's I read another article that just came out. And DC had my respect, oh, sorry, Daniel Cormier had my respect for uh, a total of like an hour and a half, two hours, because he went on to Brian Stan, who, who, real quick, you were talking shit about Brian Stan for, I'm uh, not talking shit, you were just like, you pick wrong, I'm gonna prove you wrong, because Brian Stan made the right choice and picked against you. But now he goes on to say he, he's been away from the game for a little bit. People kind of harp on the fact it's been a year since he's fought, a year and a half. That's not the thing. John Jones has only fought me and Glover Teixeira in two years. In two years, he's had two fights. Right now is the time he's ready to get beat if there ever was a time. So it made for a tougher decision because in April of 2014, he fought Glover and then fought me in January, and he hasn't fought since. So, the time away, first time not dealing with hydration through IV, first time under such strict testing with USADA, all these factors play it to me like, man, I've got to get him in the octagon right now. I think this is the time he's ready to get beat. Yet, you pulled out of your fight, Danielle. You know, when when you were saying how he's the best, you don't know how to beat him, you guys heard me. I offered up my respect. Because you're being honest. I could root more for Daniel if... If he's like, you know what, this guy's the greatest, but I want to beat the greatest. But now you're just like, dude, what? What the fuck are you doing? Talking about USADA, hydration through IV, and he's been away from the game for a little bit. He's only fought two fights in two years, and yada, yada, yada. Because he's like a nine-time defending world champion. He, he's not someone that's trying to climb up the ranks. He's already at the top. So, you know, it's, it's annoying. Right when I thought DC was entering a realm of honesty and likability, he, he proves me wrong. And ter- I was actually happy, man. I was like, you know what, DC's honest, that, that's cool. I'm not a hater. I don't want to hate on anybody. I don't want to hate on DC. I got to get my honest opinion when you talk shit, man. Because you're not backing it up. When RDA pulled out, I was bummed that the fight wasn't going to happen. And I was rooting for RDA. I was bummed the fight wasn't going to happen, but, you know, it is what it is in that aspect. Injuries happen. But when DC pulls out of this shit with obvious, like, you could tell he's just scared, man. It's not even that big of an injury. I'm not saying he's not hurt, but it's something he could definitely enter the fight with. But as he said, he wants to fight Jones at 100%. So whatever, I could let that go. I can respect that. Just shut your fucking mouth. You're not fighting. You literally have no scheduled fight. You don't. You have no scheduled fight. You pulled out of a fight with the guy who beat you. You had your chance to avenge the loss. And you did, the only reason you even are guaranteed a fight with John Jones is because you have that belt. And I really wish it was Anthony Rumble that won that night. 
or even Alexander Gustafson that other night when DC fought him. Because Alexander Gustafson, eh, he's been talking like unnecessary shit rooting for DC too, but whatever, man. I'd rather see Alexander Gustafson because like people claim that to be a blemish on John Jones' record. But DC, you're really irrelevant when it comes to Jones' legacy. Why do you keep talking shit about this man? You you call him the greatest, and then and then you start talking about all oh, how everything's lining up to beat to for you to beat him. It's 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 hard to respect you when you're not being real. Just keeping it real. <clears throat> There, there's a cliche saying, real recognizes real. And that's for a real reason. Because that shit is legit. Because, like, it's easy, easily verifiable. Because it's thorough. You are not thorough, Daniel. Your last statements, they were more honest. But this negates that. You see, this adds the, the bitterness... This is the tone of you just being a hater, and this is why, this is why it makes sense. You know what I mean by making sense? Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Boo me, people. I say to you, I have been sober longer than five months. Dude, you just sound like a fucking hater. Real shit, you're not even fighting him anymore. And you know you got an inevitable matchup, but you're 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 just talking shit when he's fighting somebody else, dude. Like straight up, and you offer to help the dude he's fighting, and then start talking shit about him that you'd fight him on a day's notice. Know how disrespectful that shit is? That's saying you don't even need to prepare. It, you know, I I, I had a, a thought to myself when I read that article. Hmm. Huh. Maybe, maybe this buildup is going to be something cool. Maybe this buildup is going to be a respectable buildup. Don't get me wrong. I love the, I love the beef and, and the cow. Oh, dude, I just want them to release that fucking counterpunch video in full. But anyway, I could, I could, if Daniel was being more honest, then the buildup would be easier on me. Because with all this shit it's talk, it, it, with all that shit he talks, it kind of creates an anxiety of, I can't wait to, to watch you get your ass whooped. But if he's not doing that, then, you know, it could just be what it is. John Jones getting his belt back. This is such an unnecessary fight. But, um, man, that, 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 I'm not even going to waste any more time on this, man. You already know it's Mastermind MMA.